if you're watching educational videos like this, you and I are likely kindred spirits. We love learning, but you know what? It's important to not just learn, it's important to incorporate what we're learning into our lives so that in, in my channel's case, you're better prepared for retirement and you have a better, a happier, more fulfilling retirement. And I know I love learning so much that frankly, I can spend 90% of my time learning and only 10% of my life changing. And I don't want that. I don't want that for me and I don't want that for you. So my channel's all about, you know, preparing for your best life in retirement. So our, I talk about things like budgeting. I talk about things like asset allocation. And my question to you today is, are you actually taking the time and say, you know what? That was an interesting question on budgeting. And if you're married, you and your spouse, if you have a life partner, you and your partner, are you sitting down and looking at your budget and say, you know what? Asul talked about two ways to do this. One is, one is, is very detail oriented. It's not what he does, but it's from the bottom up and looking at all our expenses. The other way, which is what Asul does, it doesn't mean it's right, but goes top down and says, you know, my goal is to save X dollars a year. And what practices do I need to put in place so that I am saving X dollars a year? Do I need to watch how much I'm spending on a car? Do I need to watch how much I'm spending on going out to eat? Or is my current lifestyle in line with what my budgeting goals are? So, you know, that's one example. Another really big important area of life that is important to not just learn about, but to do is your asset allocation for your investments. I talk a lot about asset allocation and what percent in stocks and bonds and what that means for volatility. I don't know your specific situation, but I'm trying to share information that'll help you decide what is the right asset allocation for you. You know, there could be two people in very similar situations and maybe for one person, they would be 100% in stocks. Another person might only be 50% in stocks and 50% in bonds. But when you're watching videos like this or anything on YouTube, think about, you know, how can I apply this? And I know in my case, this YouTube channel is a way to, to share this information that I've learned. And in some ways it's applying. I love learning, but I've also said, I think of myself as a teacher. And how much of my time am I spending learning and how much of my time am I spending sharing what I've learned with, with everybody? And that's, you know, I started this channel in 2023, and that's been one of the highlights of my year is looking back and saying, you know what? I spent a fair amount of my time teaching this year, which I've always said is important. And I've done that at work, but I haven't done that outside of my, my work mode before. So my, my question to you as you're watching whatever videos you're interested in, I speak about uh, living your best life in retirement and, and planning for that, are you incorporating some of these things? And what I'd encourage you to do is, is think about, you know, little chunks of learning. Take, take a chunk and say, okay, budgeting, do I have that? And many of my viewers probably have that nailed down great. Uh, asset allocation, how are you doing there? More, more, more people probably struggle with that in thinking through, do I have the right asset allocation? Or is it something that I set up 10 years ago and maybe I've looked at, but I haven't made the phone call to change that asset allocation to reflect where I'm at. And this is not financial advice in this video. I really do encourage you to work with a professional. I think it's hard for most people to get their asset allocation right on their own. And the reason is uh, a person in the financial advising world, somebody that's a fiduciary to you 100% of the time, hopefully they have, have, have helped hundreds of families through this and over a long period of time. And they've seen how these families react in both good times when they say, oh, we should have had all of our money in the stock market. Look how well the stock market's doing. And also bad times when uh, they can't sleep at night because they have too much of their portfolio in stocks and the stocks are down um, and maybe they've lost 20% of their account value. And as, as your net worth gets higher, you know, 20% of a $500,000 portfolio is $100,000. Think about how many years it took you to save your first $100,000. 
And that's what people think about when the market's down is, you know, this just destroyed 10 years of savings, five years of savings. So I encourage you to work with a professional to help you get your asset allocation right for you. It's going to determine 80% or more of your long-term investment success is just getting that one thing. So it's not enough to learn about asset allocation. I actually want to encourage you to, to make that phone call and to start down the path and, and looking at that. Uh, another big thing for uh, happiness and success in retirement is making sure you and your partner are on the same page as, as far as some big things, you know, how are you guys, how are you going to spend your time together? Is it going to be about the same as what it was before you retired? Are you going to spend a lot more time together? I've shared in other videos and in my case, you know, my wife wants to spend a little more time with me, but she loves her independence and that's fine. But it's important for me to know that ahead of time. Also location, where are you going to live? My wife and I spend a lot of time talking about that. And when we go on vacation, we're kind of shopping uh, for our retirement community. i fortunate, I live in a ski town right now, uh, but winters are long and hard. And we both know, uh, my wife and I both know, as we get older, putting up with long, hard winters is gonna become more and more difficult, particularly in my case, when I can't do as many of the activities. Hopefully I can do it for at least 10 more years, but skiing and snowboarding and getting out on a snow bike uh, believe it or not, they actually have uh, mountain bikes that are designed to ride on snow. As that gets more difficult to do, the joys of winter are going to diminish. Um, so, you know, a question is looking at, at, at little pieces of these videos and saying, you know, how can we apply them? And I really encourage you as we start to enter the new year here, think about, you know, how you can apply these learnings. What are the, what are the, the key takeaways uh, from my videos. Again, I've, I've shared, you know, the asset allocation. I've shared making sure you and your spouse are on the right, um, on, the, on the same page, and also budgeting. These are th three core things, right? I say um, it's I, in the core to building your wealth is I don't care how much money you make, no matter how much money you make, you need to spend less than what you make, which gets to budgeting. Then, unfortunately, it's not enough to just save. Uh, for retirement, you also have to invest, so get that right. And then high level, you know, uh, there's a saying, um, ha happy spouse, happy life. Uh, and I believe that that's true. So those are three really core areas that I think are important uh, for you to get down. And, you know, the whole thing about budgeting, I'm, I'm frankly, I'm, I'm very surprised, but it's, it's very true. Over half, it's almost 60% of people making over $100,000 a year don't save a dime. But yet, you know, I, I know plenty of people that don't make anywhere near that, but save 20% of, of their income. So there's no right or wrong answer. It's the, the right answer for yourself. But thinking through, how do I apply some of these learnings? So I want you to think about that. I also want you to think about this video up here, which talks about eight things to stop doing as you approach your 60s to be able to enjoy. Many, many of my viewers have made a lot of great decisions along the journey, and now it's time to start enjoying, whether that means retiring now or later. So eight things to stop doing as you approach 60 to enjoy your life more. I'll see you in that video. Bye-bye.